Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Good morning. On this Memorial Day weekend, let us begin our liturgy with first of all, pledging allegiance to our flag and then the singing of our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will go unto the altar of God. God is right in my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now, please make an examination of your conscience. And now, let us offer up the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority, 
invested in me by him, I absolve you of all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus our Savior. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to who God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O Holy Trinity, Triune God, our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Turn our wanderings into a pilgrimage, drawing us ever closer to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, living and reigning as one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Most loving Father, bless those who have served in the armed forces of our nation and receive the souls of those men and women who gave their lives in the service of freedom as they gave themselves to advance the ideal of world peace and justice May they inspire our continued efforts toward the same end. We ask this through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, as we observe the anniversary of the passing of our brother, David Rapoli, into his eternal rest, we ask for your grace and blessing. Accept him into your eternal kingdom and bring us the consolation of always trusting in your care. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. On this, the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, we take the first reading from the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth, ask from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of the fire as you did and lived? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, 
with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must know now and fix in your hearts that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on the earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gradual for today. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. The second reading for today is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but that you receive the spirit of adoption, through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 
teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. During the liturgy of our church, we began with the first Sunday of Advent, and it tells a story leading all the way up to the time that Jesus ascended into heaven. Advent told about the longing for the Messiah. Christmas, we celebrate the coming of the Messiah. Epiphany, we hear of the first teachings of Jesus. We continue in the season of Lent where we hear, hear the final events that led to the passion, to the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Easter, we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. And for the 40 days that followed, Jesus continued to teach and to share his teachings and was witnessed by many many people beside the apostles. Forty days after his resurrection, Jesus stood on a mountain and directed his disciples to come prior to his ascension. And what he says we find in today's gospel, his last speakings before he ascended unto the Father. He gives a direction, and we call this the Great Commission. He first of all, after the glorious resurrection from the dead, Jesus makes the statement, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. And then he gives the final teaching, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This, my brothers and sisters, is the teaching of the Holy Trinity, one God in three divine persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Creator of all things. We read in today's first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, where the Lord God gives directives unto his people. God the Son, the Redeemer and Regenerator of the world. We recite in the Nicene Creed that Jesus basically is one with the Father. And God the Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier, who was to come after our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Last week we celebrated the solemnity of the Pentecost where Jesus basically through his teachings taught to his apostles that they would be empowered with the Holy Spirit, that they would go forth and be his witnesses first in Jerusalem and then Judea and then Samaria and unto the known parts of the world. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity, bringing to mind the essence of our faith. This coming Thursday, we will celebrate the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is found in the sacred sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. You know, God had a divine plan right from the very beginning. First of all, he created all things. But because of man who fell from the grace of God, he stumbled in water and wandered for millenniums. In their wanderings, there were prophets who came and they spoke about a Messiah who would come and fulfill all the prophecies. And then there was Jesus, the Son, the perfect transparency of the Father, who was to teach the teachings as God would reveal through him because he was one with God. The Holy Spirit, after Jesus ascended into heaven, 
I am sure that the apostles were troubled by not having their Lord by their side, but on the Feast of Pentecost, there was the descent upon the Holy Spirit. And so this past week, in our liturgy, we read about the indwelling Spirit and how the Holy Spirit has come unto people. You know, my brothers and sisters, we are given all the tools by which we can find salvation through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The teaching should serve as our standards by which we live. And if we really believe that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, promised the Holy Spirit to come upon all those who believe, then, my brothers and sisters, we have the path, as our Lord and Savior said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Unfortunately, we see in our world today not so much the Holy Spirit in our society, but rather there is a spirit of anger and hatred. It is not uncommon for us to turn on the news or to read a newspaper where we see the violence and the anger and the hatred that people exhibit to one to another, whether it be on an airplane, whether it be in marches and protests, whether it be the random drive-by shootings or the road rage, and we can go on and on and on. I read that this week there has been 17 mass shootings of innocent people. Since January, there have been over 240 mass shootings claiming the lives of innocent people and especially innocent children. I truly believe that when an individual looks away from the indwelling spirit, that they are led into anger and hatred. Because Jesus taught us the house that is divided in against itself cannot stand. And so my brothers and sisters on this solemnity of Holy Trinity, we need for all of us to pause and to fix our minds on those things that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said was important. Love, compassion, forgiveness, mercy. My brothers and sisters, we will never become the nation, one nation under God, until we place God as the teachings of our own faith and our own salvation. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. my brothers and sisters that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the benefit of the Holy Church. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, Trinity in unity, as we offer our gifts of self and substance, we ask you to make them holy. Grant us an understanding of your inner life, for to that living mystery we have been called. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Let us pray, O Heavenly Father, as we offer you this sacrifice, may we also offer ourselves to carry on the heritage with which we have been entrusted. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. Let us pray. Almighty Father, accept these gifts we offer you this day with faith and trust. May this offering unite us with your Son's offering on the cross, which brings us eternal life. We ask all of this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, O powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. 
For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you art one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what we believe of your glory through your revelation, we also believe of your whore Son and of the Holy Spirit. With without difference or distinction, and in confessing the true and eternal Godhead, we adore the distinction of persons, oneness in being, and equality in majesty and your glory. Therefore, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our Prime Bishop, and Paul, our Bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In our prayers today, let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed, all those who are suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic, and pray for not only them, but also for their families. Let us give thanks unto God for all the doctors, nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers who strive daily to save others. In our deepest prayers, let us remember all abused and neglected children in our world, all abused and neglected animals, and all victims of violence, both here and abroad. Let us keep in special remembrance this day all those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad. And let us also pray for one another and for our loved ones. And all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others, the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. 
He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, O Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice in the Magdalene host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar, into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants and handmaidens who have gone before us with the Son of Faith and now sleep in peace. Let us remember in our prayers for the repose of the soul of our brother David Rapoli, and especially on this Memorial Day weekend, may we remember all those who have given up themselves so that we might have freedom. To these souls, Lord, and all the rest in Christ grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints, who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with laws patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily. 
forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother to God, Mary, with thy blessed Apostle Peter and Paul, as also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you who lives and reigns, God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not because for our judgment or condemnation, Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in all of us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and the holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul into life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen.
Lord, which we have received under us, may we receive it as we and may this temple give to us in everlasting healing. May your body, O Lord, which I have received, your blood which I have drawn, cling to my innermost being and grant no sin be made in the womb of these sacraments and others. Who lives and reigns with God the Father? in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. grace of the Lord Jesus and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and source of the Spirit, you are the creator of all that exists and the originator of all that is good. You loved us in Christ even before the world was formed. Grant through this Holy Eucharist that our whole lives may be only a return to you from our first beginning through baptism in your holy name to our final goal. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we have received the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, who called unto himself all those who were oppressed with the burdens of life. May he also draw unto himself all those who have served in the cause of freedom and justice. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, through this Holy Eucharist, we are united with our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead. May our brother, David Rapoli, be joined with you in the new Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and art one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty, be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effected for myself and all those for whom I have offered it. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe. 
but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God, the Word. Became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you again to Holy Name of Jesus here in South Deerfield. I thank you for allowing us to come to you as we offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass on this Holy Trinity. As I had mentioned before, this coming Thursday we will celebrate the Solemnity of Corpus Christi in which we remember the importance of the gifts that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gave to his apostles at the Last Supper, namely his body and his blood in the forms of bread and wine. Also today, we also remember all those who have given of their lives the final measure of their faith all the veterans who have died in defending our freedom and giving us democracy. And so in our deepest prayers today, let us remember them. We will also conclude this morning with the offering of not only a prayer for all the intentions that have been mentioned during the canon of the Mass, but also for again not only the repose of the soul of David Rapoli but again all our departed brothers and sisters who gave of themselves so that we might have a better life may God shine his light upon them and may they all have perpetual light in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed, for David Rapley, and again for all departed men and women who fought in the armed forces for us to have the freedoms that we have today. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual life shine. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.